guys welcome back to the channel so the wonderful Erica from Elm Colours has created her own colouring tag um, and that is artists favourite colouring tag and she kindly tagged me in this um, and so I am um, well participating and <laughs> doing as I'm told Elm Colours so here we are um, so for this you need to pick from a list that she creates um, of artists your favourite book by that artist and then your favourite page from that book so she gives the first five that you must pick from and then a long list of extras that you can pick your next five choices from um, and I will pop all that stuff in the description down below along with of course um, Erica's channel. Uh, before I start I'm going to as usual tag my people because well I forget otherwise so um, I will tag uh, who am I going to tag? I haven't thought this through. Um, well I know I want to tag um, a relatively new channel uh, a new lady I've been talking to that's uh, really fun and that is um, Colour Me Spiffy, her channel is called. So Courtney at Colour Me Spiffy. Um, so I'll pop her down below. I'm definitely going to tag her. And I think I'm struggling because I know a few, quite a few of the people that I would normally tag have already been tagged. Um, so I will also pick Shana in Colour Land. Um, tagging you as well I hope you, if you've already been tagged I apologize guys and if you just don't want to do the video then just pretend you didn't watch it and uh, I will never tell so uh, we start with my 10 so choice number one picked by Erica was Joanna Basford so my favorite book by Joanna Basford is of course her wonderful world of flowers that is right up until her new worlds of wonder arrives of course <laughs> for me um and my page is not that one this one um i don't know what it is i think it's because just because it has a little bit of everything i love the flowers in her books and i love a good border in any book um and i just really like this page it's it's pretty it's detailed it's busy and it's got a bit of every kind of flower that i could want to color with a border added in so just really beautiful page that i really like in my favorite joanna bosford book world of flowers book number two um, that she chose you need to pick a Kirby Rosannis and um, I've always loved Worlds Within Worlds by Kirby and uh, my favourite page is probably an unusual choice but this sloth I just love the idea of this little town hanging around underneath this sloth just living their lives and uh, I think we all feel like that sometimes, like we're just hanging on a thread, living our lives um, at the whims of something else. And uh, I just really, really think this is a fun page. I really could do with colour in it. Um, but I think sometimes my favourites I keep the longest, thinking I'll wait until I'm better at it and then do it. <laughs> but uh, there's that one. Her third choice was a Hannah Coyle Coles on book. And um, I, of course, have Magical Dawn. I've got all her books, but from Magical Dawn, I think this is my favourite just because I got it first, maybe. Um, and I just really love this cute little pair of mice. Um, I just like the idea that it's like he's offering her a gemstone, <laughs> like courtship just really cute that's probably not what's happening but it is on my page so i love this one again would be a good idea to color the page but so many pages so little time her fourth choice was maria troll and of course good choice because we all love her um i've got all her books and my favorite is her new luna book not that new now but her latest book and uh, i just i love the uh lily pads it's got the border that i like 
this cute little frog and of course Luna and these little lily pads I just really like that page I don't actually really know why it's my favorite I just I can see it colored really dark with these little fluffy light patches and uh, I think it's gonna look really good so that is my choice for number four uh, her fifth prompt and um, choice you have to pick is a book by Eerie. Um, I only have um, Romantic Country 1 and 2 by Eerie. So from the two books I have, I like the first one. And the page that I like is uh, not that one. Hang on, I have a tag here somewhere. Not that it helped. This this cute little cat watching the world <laughs> with a border, of course. And uh, I just think that look into that little world is really cute. So that is a choice number five. And then, left to my own devices, pick number six um, is, of course, for me, Christine Caron. Um, and I picked her fairy and fantasy grayscale colouring book um, and it's this lovely lady just think it's a really elegant beautiful page um, and she's one I've wanted to colour for quite some time now and uh, I even made a copy to see if that would help me not chicken out and uh, we will see uh, prompt Number seven for me is, of course, Clara Markova, and I've picked her newest book, Fairy Touch of Magic. I think because it's the most detailed, and just love this purple um, cover to it. It's just a gorgeous book all around this one. Perfect paper for colouring these books. And it is this page. It just makes you think of Cinderella, where they're making a dress. All the little animals. And uh, I just love that page. Really pretty. So that is my pick. I really think it's an interesting um, colouring tag, this one. Because it's nice. Uh, uh, you know, it'll be surprising just how different people's favourite pages are. And the pages people pick. Um, you'll get a wide variety of answers to these, I think. Uh, so prompt number A, I chose Anastasia Ellie Calderiva because you have to. She's beautiful. Um, Mysteria is my favourite. This was hard. Essentially, almost every page is my favourite in here, but I went with this beautiful curly haired lady just because it's so delicate and so pretty, uh, and I like the flowers that are also going to be really pretty to colour. I think um, they'd be nice as blossoms. And uh, I chose that one. Just a beautiful page, really. But yeah, it's so, so hard to pick. I mean, essentially, look at these. Just beautiful. I saw Lucy colour this one and it uh, turns out absolutely wonderful. And... Uh, I've seen a few versions of this one that's beautiful as well. It's a very difficult choice. Beautiful, beautiful book with uh, beautiful pages. So we're nearly there. Um, choice number nine had to be um, a newfound one for me. And that is Do Your Draws, Colour and Chicks, Colouring Book 2, Fantasy Fairy Portraits, Grayscale. And... Um, my page pick bear with me get to my tag it's here somewhere this was also quite a difficult choice there's some really cute pages in this one um, really pretty but I just liked this one thought it was quite fun with the insects added in the little elf I like that one Really pretty. Uh, so, my last one is an old but true. One of the first people's um, 
one of the first people's books I started collecting. Um, not that long ago when I started colouring 12 months, <laughs> but um, this was one of the ones that uh, started me off. Uh, it's actually Tatiana Boggy, Master Lover, I believe, but some of her books do say Tanya. Um, it's Nice Little Town 4 because it has this page and I just, I love this page. I just think it is so cute, this whole idea of uh, this little fishing pond in a, a little glass jar. <laughs> I don't even know why I like this one so much, but I really do. It's uh, definitely a favourite. It's a beautiful, beautiful page that will be. You can see all the, the, the dark navy to blue to pale turquoise. Um, coming out in the water and then your your dark blue background like he's um fishing in the evening when it's quiet yeah i think that one will be really really pretty um i had to cheat i'm really sorry i had to cheat um and add an honorable mention because it wasn't on her list but it is one of my favorites um my newest favourite artist has to be Josh Lee and I have to the unpronounceable uh, Mel Panini I'm sticking with that Mel Panini um, so Circle of Life and uh, I like all of Josh Lee's, to be honest. Um, we've got the Fantasy Collection, the Colouring Heaven Chibi Magazine that um, they did, and the Colouring Heaven, I think it's Fantasy Princesses, was also done by Josh Lee. So, honourable mention, my two absolute favourite artists of the moment um, are these. Love these books. Love these illustrators. Will buy anything they come out with immediately more certainly cannot wait to see what this person has in store for us next because this book is phenomenal can you believe you can pick this book up from amazon uk for five pounds it's got the same paper as uh, kirby rosanis I would imagine it's the same publisher, to be honest, because it's the same book shape, same paper, and uh, stunning, stunning. And uh, Josh Lee's gone the Amazon route with Amazon paper, but still totally worth it. Fabulous. So I'm sorry, Erica, I cheated slightly, but it had to happen. They had to be on. Uh, had to be on. Uh, so as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, putting up with my ramblings. I really appreciate you guys continuing to return and support the channel. Please give the th video a thumbs up if you actually liked it and got this far, as it helps my channel out immensely. And I will see you in the next video.